Hi, hi, this is John with iCoach Now, and uh, today's video blog is going to help you incredibly, okay? Um, it's about organizing your practices a little bit and getting your kids' attention. Now, first off, uh, when the kids arrive to practice, what do they want to do? They want to shoot the ball, right? So we let them do that a little bit. They want to be active. Don't have any meetings at the beginning of practice. Get them right into things, okay? And so the first thing that, that we're going to do is um, I'm going to teach you how to get their attention when you do need to transition from one drill to another, including at the beginning of practice. Um, I train my kids that uh, when I blow the whistle twice, tweet, tweet, what they do is they chin and pivot. I want you to remember this term, chin and pivot. If you don't know what that means, it means that you chin the ball, and what you do is you have your elbows out, and you move the ball from side to side or around like this, all right? Now that you also have one foot on the ground and you're pivoting around so that you don't travel. This is a key, and I mean key, aspect of basketball, especially in youth basketball, okay? They need to learn how to protect the ball, right? Chin it, and I say, what does that mean? And, the, and, and I teach the kids to say, my ball and you can't have it. They need to be strong. Say, be strong, don't be weak, right? Because if you go like this, what are the other kids going to do? They're going to steal your ball, right? So learn how to chin the ball and pivot, okay? And um, that is something that is, I mean, it's fundamental. We do it probably 20 times a practice. And rather than doing a specific drill for that, I just do it as a transition drill that, you know, uh, teaches the kids to stop, do it, and then listen. Okay, so while they're pivoting, I'll say, okay, guys, we're going to move into the next drill. This is what we're going to do. Secondly, if I need to do any kind of instruction or want them to go to some place, I may give them um, three tweets. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And what that means is that they go to the baseline and have two feet on the baseline. All right? So when they hear three tweets, everybody runs to the baseline and puts three or three feet, um, puts two feet on the baseline. Why is that? Because here I can instruct them. If everybody has two feet on the baseline, oops, baseline is this guy right here. Okay? Um, I can stand out here and talk to them all or show them what I want them to do in a drill. Um, two aspects that are just incredibly important. It'll save you a lot of headache. The kids will enjoy it more because they know that you're organized. They know what's expected of them. And you can repeat this many times throughout the practice so that um, by the end of practice one, th they know exactly uh, what you want of them. And not only that, but you're not wasting two to three minutes in transition between one, pr uh, one drill to the next. I mean, you do that, you know, uh, six times and you've wasted, you know, 15 minutes of your hour of practice. And so uh, at Coach and I, we talk about fun, effectiveness, and efficiency. This certainly is an efficient way to run your practice. Thanks for uh, listening to iCoach Now. And uh, I'd love some feedback on this to see if it helps you out.